it's Jesse Stone again for the second sports business thoughts video. Again, kind of all things marketing, sports, current events, what is going on in the sports industry. Aside from the Waste Management Open just ending, go Devs. We had a great turnout in that event, by the way. Thanks, Phil Mickelson, John Rahm. Um, and the Super Bowl just ending. Let's go, Eagles. Fly, fly, fly. Um, anyway, the third biggest event that just occurred this past weekend was obviously the Arizona State University Sun Devils versus the University of Arizona Wildcats swimming dual meet. Um, the meet was held this past Saturday at ASU. It was our senior night, um, our senior day, I guess, where we could honor a lot of our swimmers and a lot of the athletes. Um, I think Ray Anderson and Bob Bowman together have really taken this program to new heights. Um, Ray Anderson in another class recently talked about how Arizona State University and our athletic department are trying to implement this new kind of business strategy into our different sports. And I think swimming has so far been a prime example of how it's really benefiting those student athletes. The swimmers are developing into such great overall athletes. You know, um, one of the swimmers was telling me he took nine seconds off on a stroke in one year. I mean, that's unheard of. That's someone taking off I don't know, maybe two minutes on their mile time. That's crazy. And I would, you know, give a huge congratulations to Bob Bowman and how well this maybe GM, the director of business development, the, you know, director of finance for swimming, how well this new business model is working for the team. Um, the crux of this video, to kind of get back to more of the marketing aspect, not an overall analysis of the meet, even though the Devils won. Go Devs. Um... Disclaimer, first, sorry, I should have mentioned this sooner. Um, I actually have a sister that swims at that school a little bit down south, um, so I am a little bit biased, but still go devs. Um, the announcer, again, now the crux, the marketing aspect, the announcer was so poor, and I think it was almost hindering ASU athletics, um, specifically in their swimming department, because of how everyone kind of perceived this announcer, and I just think that when we... A lot of people were making comments leaving the pool. Um, some of the remarks were really poor. And I think if Arizona State University wants to continue being this powerhouse, um, being in a really attractive swim program that they currently are, we need to be a little bit more advantageous and a little bit more forward thinking about how someone in this role really does market themselves and market the swim team. Um, I think there could be a couple ways that we as a program could combat this. Maybe if we could have student athletes come back and announce, maybe you could have Cronkite grads whoop, whoop, um, come back and announce. I mean, that would be super interesting. That would be a really fun program, even if you had current students enrolled in the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism come back, like I just said, and announce. Um, even maybe if you could implement somehow Michael Phelps and his new marketing strategy of his branding MP um, and his relationship with Bob Bowman, I just think that somehow if we could market the swim meet and have an overall better experience when people are traveling to come to these meets, um, we want to give them the best experience they can. And not only is this going to be great for fans, for students, for families, but for future recruits, the athletes, the coaches, and the school itself. But thank you so much for listening. I know I kind of went over my two-minute limit again. I need to work on it. Um, see you next week.